if people come to you and they are obese or overweight anyways, they don't work out, their uh, testosterone is low, do you start them immediately on TRT or do you have them make some other lifestyle changes first, working out, dieting, or do you start all at once? So the great question again. And this is one of my specialties. Remember, I told you I'm also an internal medicine doctor. I still do primary care. I see a lot of diabetic patients. So the, the big epidemic that we have in our country and in the world is obesity and the metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome, again, let me just remind everybody, it's a combination of abnormal um, elevated blood pressure. And my patients will tell me that it's mildly elevated. It's still elevated. Um, abnormal blood sugar, it may be just a blood sugar of 105 instead of being 100 or less. Abnormal lipids and enlarged waist size. So a lot of guys walk around with a waist of 36, 38, and they think it's normal. When you have those four factors together, it is called the metabolic syndrome. Some doctors are debating that it is not a true syndrome, but I love to tell my patients that because if I diagnose them with something, I can put a name, they don't just have a little bit of elevated blood pressure, you have metabolic syndrome. And what that does, it increases your risk of cardiovascular disease by twofold, increase your risk of diabetes by fivefold. So it is a serious condition. So when I have a patient who come to me, typical patient, overweight, blood pressure is a little elevated, blood sugar, he has impaired fasting glucose, nothing that he needs uh, medication, prescribed medications yet, I go aggressive on this. Um, traditionally, they'll go see their primary docs, they'll maybe just give him, oh, you know, you should uh, eat better and exercise, maybe a little metformin, see you in six months. Six months, you're already getting some endothelial dysfunction from this metabolic syndrome. When they come to me and they have this, I see it as an emergency. I'm like, we're gonna change this. And, and something I, I'm glad I wanted to talk about, there's this new class of medications that I've been using called GLP-1 agonist. And I'm, am I allowed to say brand names? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, one of the best one is called Ozempic. Um, and the studies are amazing. I use that. And the generic name is semaglutide. Semaglutide Ozempic has been shown in studies that it decreases, um, increases metabolism, and helps with weight loss significantly. They're talking about 30 to 40 pounds of weight loss in a, in a one year period with very mild side effects. You can never say medication has zero side effects, but the studies are amazing. The studies for weight loss are so great that Ozempic, I'm oh, sorry, semaglutide was able to get FDA approval to use that for weight loss. You, don't, you no longer need to be a diabetic to use this. So I use this a lot and I love using it because weight gain is something that's really difficult to deal with. I also have a weight loss clinic and been doing this for 18 years, the weight loss clinic. And it is a yo-yo up and down, even on guys who know better. Most of my patients are very educated patients. They know what they're supposed to do. But our food is such, so toxic. The sugars that we eat is so, um, really it's addictive. So it's really difficult for somebody to lose weight and keep it up long-term. So when I have a patient, like you said, that comes to me, I go aggressive. I replace their testosterone. I may use a semaglutite light. I talk a lot of nutrition. I talk a lot on exercise and I help with their mindset. You okay. put all of those four together, six months later, you have a completely different patient and you see their metabolic markers, their inflammatory markers have made a world of a difference. That patient at a primary care physician or a typical endocrinologist, you won't see those type of results.